Hello and welcome to day six, would you believe, of the 10,000 baht holiday. Woke up this morning with still 2,285 baht to go. Haven't spent a penny so far yet, by the way, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I've started from Thong Nai Pan Beach today, it's in the north of the island, very north of the island. I'm going to show you around right now. Pan. I'm gonna head down to the beach in a second. Parked outside the 7 Eleven because I assume there's gonna be no parking, but there'll probably be loads. I've never been here before, so I really don't know what to expect. And I hope the wind doesn't ruin everything like it did yesterday. So Thong Nai Pan is the very, very north of the island, but over towards the east side, sort of north northeast, I would say. So this is obviously the main street. Got an Italian restaurant in case you were wanting some Italian food. And I've never been here before, but I'd say there was probably a bit of hustle and bustle back in the day. Certainly a lot of businesses here. I'm chilling out. This little guy, he's definitely ready to start something, isn't he? Alright, mate. Right, we're good. But I think these are all still open. They've also got their map, uh, menus and that. In fact, that's got stuff inside, so they're definitely open. Looks like uh, there might still be something going on around here. It's almost as quiet as Hadrin was yesterday, but <clears throat> not quite. But there's just more of an air of optimism about these businesses. These all look open to me, which is great. So it's about as far away as it could be from where I'm staying, and it's still only sort of a 15 minute drive. This is a nice small island, big enough to go exploring and spend time on, but small enough to see everything. Yeah, all this stuff's open, this is great, really encouraging. So, I'm not sure why I've never heard about this town before. I saw a sign for it yesterday and thought, yeah, okay, let's go there tomorrow. Because there was a couple of signs one of them was 13 kilometers away, and I thought if it's 13 kilometers away and they're mentioning it, it's got to be worth it. Slight right, three. then <sighs> make a U turn. Thanks. And I'm going to have to turn her off, aren't I? Everything's open. And then when I got back to my hotel, the old lady that was cleaning up for the fella, we were talking, and she was talking in trying to talk in English. Her English is about as good as my time, maybe even worse. But we actually had an alright little combo. No, we weren't discussing philosophy or anything. But we got through the basics and then I knew that what she was telling me was that here was really nice and definitely should come to. And that there was another beach just to the right of it. I forget the name of that one now. But she said I should definitely also visit that one. And we'll very beautiful beaches and she understood everything I said you know in Samui when I try and talk Thai well firstly they always answer you in English but um, they basically just rip you apart and say 
you're mispronouncing everything. I can't understand you. That's just talking English. But yeah, she understood everything I said. I was buzzing. So lots of little shops and stuff here. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. Hmm. Feeling a little bit guilty for not taking the dog now. Actually, it would have been perfect for her. And I didn't really film that much on the way up, so. So you can see it's not too shabby in that direction. But I had to pull up for a minute because look at these trees. There's two of them, absolute monsters. I'm not sure that the camera is able to show you just how big this tree is. What a monster. What kind of tree is this in the comments? Wow, must be a hundred foot tall. That one's not too shabby either. In fact, it's probably taller. This is the Bansai Cockfighting Stadium, which is still a popular thing in Thailand. You see it on TV quite a lot. And around the place you will see people who own chickens for that purpose. And right outside, you've got some banana trees here, just growing. And not uncommon to see that, they're all over Samui as well. And then right opposite, coconuts, and that's completely normal for here. Just banana and coconut trees all over the place. Looks like this is going to be a really nice little drive. I don't know if I'm just on a bit of a tree buzz. I don't recall ever seeing so many cool looking trees in Koh Samui. Score one for Koh Panyang on the weird trees. Weird's probably not the right word. This. Lovely, lovely beach. I wish the tide was a little further in. I did walk out and I walked out so far that the sand started to have that sort of slimy, no one's walked on me in a long time kind of feel. And it was still barely above my knees but that's more of a timing issue I think because the tide's not fully in so what we're at here at the minute is the Panvi Man Resort owner of a cool tree oh. the wind's playing up again isn't it seafood stone beach restaurant it's really not that windy today but my microphone signal says it's very loud so Lovely. there must be some people here for all those businesses to have been open on the way in that's not months and months old is it that's been written recently the shop looks clean there's still stuff in there for sale and stuff lovely I'm guessing hotels villas and stuff on the mountain there on the hill all right so we've come over to the next beach over it's on the slightly to the east if you look this is the same bit of hill we were looking at a minute ago except now we've come over this bit and this part of town is a little bit more shut off just drove through a little bit of it there and I, I might show you some on the way out walk through this business they didn't seem to mind so there was more of a given up vibe sort of going on there to be honest now outside a lot of businesses that didn't look like they've been open for a while 
It's not that rare to see a closed 7-Eleven or Family Mart these days, but when the only one in the area is closed, that's not a good sign. The 7-Eleven on the other, other beach, a few hundred meters away, I mean, it'd take you a while to walk it, but the other one was open. I prefer them anyway. I love going to these little family run shops. Literally no cars coming either direction. And as on my way, there was a dog asleep in the middle of the road, like right in the middle in a deep sleep, just drove around him. It was probably the first car that disturbed him in a while. So once again, let's all say it together. It's a lovely beach. It is a lovely beach. The sand's pretty nice. I'll tell you about the water shortly. The scenery is certainly pretty good. And other than this one lady here, it's just you and me, kid. But this place all to ourselves. Which is both beautiful and sad, isn't it? People built all these businesses, obviously. Some of them the foreigners that have come over thinking that they were going to start a new life. And, and obviously other people, Thai families and stuff that have put everything on the line to start a business. And oh yeah, No matter how many times you see it, it's still very, very sad. Cool looking business up there on the hill. Or house. So I'm going to have to test the water. It doesn't look like there's much else to do in this area. And I am starting to get really, really hungry. I'm leaning towards another one of them bacon maple pancakes that I had at the Echo. I mean, obviously the aim was to eat in as many different places as possible and show you guys as many different restaurants as possible and stuff, but Unless the takeaway rule's been dropped, which it might have been, because I don't know how long that was supposed to be for. So, let's give this place a little bit of a, a rub, seeing as they were nice enough to let us walk through their business without making it seen. Got some nice bikes for rent here. I think it was called Pam's Bungalows, but let's head out and make sure. So there was some right on the beachfront there, you saw there was some French guy staying. And this is the back of one of them. Not much good to us, is it? Some public toilets there, which makes me think that maybe they don't have toilets inside some of them. Be a shared toilet situation. And there's some more bungalows just over there. Pens, not pams, pens. So you can see there's not much point in us heading that way, on foot at least. This would be where the town ends, right? Oh, Mitchy. There's a lot of um, sand flies, whatever they're called, on that beach. And oh my goodness. When I got back from the beach today, I headed straight back out with the dog. Went to the back of Echo Beach Club, which I've shown you already in a previous episode. And um, they were also only doing takeaway. They, they didn't even want me to just sit at the back on the beach. They just said, we'll give it you in a box and off you go. The takeaway rules still apply. So I've come to Echo. This is my pancake with maple syrup and bacon. I got a bacon sandwich coming too. A little bacon toasty, takeaway cup of tea, 150 baht all in. <laughs> I did as I said and gave him a, a little tip because the service had been so good last time. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Just in from the gym and went back there again today. Left 200 baht on the counter. Did my own thing for 75 minutes. Feel great. Just going to go shower, protein shake, and I think that's probably it for today. I mean, there's no point in leaving the house after dark. While I was at the Echo Beach Club today, 
I learned that it's at least two separate businesses. It's got the hostel upstairs for starters, but downstairs, you've got the cafe that I've been eating from at the front, and at the back, there's a restaurant run by different people. So I just went back again. Obviously, I had to get takeaway. I had a look at the menu. Some of it was a little bit expensive for our budgets right now. But in amongst it was an absolute bargain. Some homemade chicken nuggets and french fries for 160 baht. So, first of all, I like the presentation. Just a paper bag. It's obviously going to soak up some of the grease as well. Little bit of plastic, but this is nice. I like it. Um, little container of uh, mayo and ketchup. We've got what we've got here. One, two, three, four, five chicken nuggets that smell phenomenal. Tiny bit more than four euro. Not the healthiest dinner in the world. 